Oh baby. Oh baby baby. The Jorah's mask is where it's at, man. We let me go ahead and throw headphones in. We just finished Ocarina of Time yesterday. Majora's Mask is arguably better. It's not, it's not better, but it is much more interesting in my opinion. Uh, it's darker, it's got more going on, it's you actually get involved in the lives of the characters, it's amazing. All while trying to save the world. We're gonna name ourselves Link. We're gonna keep going. And we got Link! Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> in the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. I love this game. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. The question is, who is he searching for? A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among the legends. Some people say Saria, some people say Zelda, some people say many other things. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Turn down the game volume. Hopefully you can still hear me. I think we're okay. There we go. Can't miss the intro. This is good stuff. Got a movie scene. It's Link on Epona. This is the same Link. Many Zelda games are not the same Link. Some of them have the same one, some of them do not. This is the same one as Ocarina of Time. These are the same Link, the same guy. Got my water. Oh man. So excited for this. I love this game. I've played this game so many times recently. But never, never on streaming. Link gets spooked, or opponent gets spooked, Link gets thrown, and the two fairies are not near, not as good as Navi. They're not as good as Navi. We got this guy. He, he, you two fairies said great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Now, huh, this guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Now that mask is Majora's Mask. It's the first mask you see of the game. Unless you count people's natural face. And then we got Epona and Link wearing their natural faces. Our mystery man is a Skull, skull Kid? What are these called? Skull Kids, right? Skull Kid, and he has a, mis a mask. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. So his name is Skull Kid, but he's wearing Majora's Mask. And Majora's Mask is not as innocent as it seems. You can't tell. In fact, it's really, really evil. What would you do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? I think today we're just gonna exit the first town. Keep it, keep it simple, keep it light. Maybe turn human. Link is not amused. Link is so not amused. Yeah, I can see what you're doing there, buddy. He's quick. He's quick. Link's pretty quick, but... Point goes to Skull Kid here. Opponent's freaking out. Link's holding on for dear life. Go, Link, go. They're in the Lost Woods. If you're wondering what the setting is and how we got from um, Ocarina of Time setting of Hyrule Fields, or in Hyrule, just Hyrule, I guess, uh, to here, we went through the Lost Woods and got super lost. Or maybe Link knows where he was going. The cool thing is, is we already have a shield. The cool thing is we already have a sword. Maybe this is the game where you get the shield, and if you go, if you lose the shield, you have to buy a new one, and it doesn't look the same. Maybe this is the one. You can cut all these. You can get free uh, a couple of rupees here. That's not really necessary, but might as well. I forget a lot of the things through this game, and then I remember as we go. Oh, darn. I don't have the sensitivity on the stick. I could have sworn I figured that out for, the, for at least this game. I was wondering if... That would be the trick here. Might have to play with the settings again. Back down to three hearts. Have to be a little bit more careful than I was in the last game. Near the end. So it's a little strange starting over, starting over, quote unquote. But we did go back in time, so we did start over. I mean, I am going to farm resources here. I know we're going to go a little quick, but that's still my excuse. You can do this. I believe these will run if I do this. They, they added a, a few new things to this. Yeah, see, they start running. 
If you cut them all somehow, some miraculous way, you can cut them all, then you, I think you get like an extra five rupees or something like that. Uh, we can see that later, but these, I don't know if it's actually possible. I haven't seen anyone do that, but I haven't gotten really looking. Now, they've kept a lot of the stuff the same as Ocarina of Time, so the gameplay is very similar. But now, check this out, he does cool little side flips and stuff. That's awesome. He's becoming more agile. And it looks like he grew up. Like, I think, I want to say this is a year later. I don't know what the actual canon says. Um, but it is sometime later. I mean, you got Epona. He's able to ride a horse as a kid, so that's, he's a little bit older. Um, he's already got a sword and shield, so he's, but I mean, he still only has three hearts, so he hasn't gone too far. But it might be interesting to speculate where, where and how he got where he is. This is a Deku flower, Deku flower. I want to say Deku, I think. I'm just going to say Deku. I might switch it up. I probably will. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that I said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> now, that's not that big of a deal. We can get opponent later. Ah, oh, boo-hoo, why the sad face? It's not like he killed her. I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? <laughs> Fool! Uh-oh. Yeah, Majora's Mask is possessing Skull Kid more so than anything. And... Majora's Mask is very powerful. Very powerful. As powerful as Link is, but like the evil version. Kind of like Ganon. Ganondorf. It is the evil thing of this game. There is no Ganon in this game. There's no Ganondorf. I'm not even sure Majora is related to um, Demise, uh, which is where Ganon stems from. I think this is just like parallel time and place, and it's just a different evil of this world. It is very strange. Very different. Very unique. Very unique. We're running from the Deku Scrubs, but all the Deku Scrubs are turning us into a Deku Scrub and our, our, ourselves. So we got a Deku Scrub suit. Body? I don't know. Whatever this is. Whatever it calls. We are now a Deku Scrub. This doesn't last too long. We will get out of this pretty soon. Relatively soon. Not too long. Hee <laughs> hee. Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. <laughs> So it's pretty a brutal start, man. You get your body, you get your horse taken from you, you get beat up a little bit here, you get turned into a Deku Scrub. It's it's a rough start to a awesome game. They throw you in the deep end. They say you, you beat you beat the other one. You beat uh, Ocarina of Time. Try this one on for size. The fairies are now split up. Tail was yelling, sis. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. The two fairies are called Tattle and Tail, so Tattletail, which is kind of cool. Uh, very playful names, very nice names, I would say. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. You mean beating me up? Separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Why, aren't, why are you looking at me like that? Why is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Tattle's a girl, Tail is a boy. Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child would be alright on his own. So, Tattle is with us, and Tail is who we're trying to find. Uh, there's, uh, maybe this one is a little more doable just because I can spin around and stuff. But, I didn't do it. Now, the interesting thing to note here, if, if I can get a good view of this, it, well, it showed it before a little bit. Um, it kind of shows a strange, um, it's a little light here. Uh, it shows a little bit uh, of a Triforce looking shape. There's a triangle on the bottom and two on top. So it's an inverted triangle. It's a little bit different from what we're used to. Um, here you can, I think I can use this one, can I? Yeah, they let you practice a little bit. So you can do this. You can jump in these things and then you can fly around. You can fly with pretty wings, pretty, pretty flowers anyway. You can glide a little bit and then you go too far and then it'll let you fall. Uh, we open the door, let Tattle all through, but she stays with us. Oh, she stays at the door. What happens if you go talk to her? Can you? You can't. You can't even open this door. So there's a kind of an interesting thing about this part, where in, in Ocarina of Time, you could kind of backtrack to anywhere you wanted to. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. I tried. So on um, that stuff back here, there, here I um, apologize. So take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid that just ran off, who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happened to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you out. Deal. Please? Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got that all straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, just press up, C, C up, and I'll 
<clears throat> tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. What am I to do? Okay, so here, it's very safe. Um, I'm gonna do this just so I can say I get as many rupees as I can get. And you can save up for a while. Now, you can't jump, not as, uh... Oh, you can jump backwards, but you can't really jump very much. Not nearly as much as Link can, so the way you climb stuff is with these flowers here. Now, again, it's really safe. Uh, they keep it really easy. You can use these flowers to get back up here, and then you just have to drive the light across. It's easy because if you fall, it's not a big deal. You just come back up here and you try again. This gets you... This is the great learning curve of using these plants. Um, I always admire Portal, if you guys have played through Portal. Portal, it does a great job uh, with the learning curve. It teaches you one concept and then gradually builds up. It's this beautiful learning curve. Uh, this one does the same. This is the same thing, but now there are gaps. Don't fall in the pits. So just... It's the same thing as before, but now you have no safety net. There's no safety net. Not that big of a deal, not too difficult. But it does teach you and makes you a little bit more responsible. We got Deku Nuts. The cool thing about these in this game, they're a little bit more useful. You can use them while flying. While gliding with this guy. Uh, you can throw one down on the ground. Um, I'm not going to show that here, though. Oh, you can go here. I almost went to the far one. I would have fallen and died. Speaking of which, save state doesn't hurt. Uh, we're going to do this and fly. My rupee count right now is 34. It's a little cut off by my by my camera. Maybe I'll change that so we can see. Give me one second. Yeah, let's do that now. We'll move this back. Actually, I think I can do that, and that looks okay. Okay, let's go back here and full screen, and we're good to go. Now we can see everything. Hey, you, come on, press Z and talk to me. See, and that's how you do that. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, you... Uh, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. I do that a lot. But enough about that for now. Come over here to this tree and check it out. This tree actually has a really sad story, but you don't know it until the very end. Nearly the end of the game. Uh, if you know what it is, then you see a reference about half or early on in the game. But if you don't know, you don't really know. You put all the pieces together until the very end. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second. How sad. Um, this flower is just so you can get back. I don't know why you needed to go, go go back. Maybe you're like, oh shoot, there was a chest I forgot to open. But we got that one. Once you come this way, you cannot go back to that area. That's kind of a tutorial of the game. It teaches you how to be a Deku Scrub, basically. Kind of how to be linked a little bit and how to be a Deku Scrub. And then you're on your own. Uh, but this is kind of a safe area. It's not nearly as difficult as even flying across those gaps. So you come up here. Music is beautiful in this game as well. It's not as good as Ocarina of Time. It has a little bit of off uh, sounding stuff every so often, but it's not too bad. As you come up here, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? This is the quote of the game. This is what everyone quotes from this game. You have met with a terrible fate, haven't you? From the mask salesman of Hyrule has ventured along with you here. And he collects and sells masks like nobody's business. He's very good at his job. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide, literally, in search of masks. That's what he has done. During my travels, I a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. Exciting. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. So, I want to be returned to human. He wants the Majora's Mask. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. Now, that doesn't really matter. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Three days can last a long time if, you have, if you're a time traveler. Well, then I'm counting on you. Three real days of a world can be a long time if you can jump constantly and reset. He doesn't time travel so much as reset time. It's more Donnie Darko than, um, than Back to the Future. 
It's more, oh, Groundhog Day. That's a better one than Dirty Darko, I think. I mean, movie-wise, it's, you take what you want. Uh, he gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the, sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that it still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Yeah, that's kind of what we do. You just go, go, go for 72 hours. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. So go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Now, I believe we can go here first. I believe we can go here first. There's Cafe. This guy's awesome, but he has his own story that's a little bit more difficult for us to do than right now. We have other fish to fry, not more fish to fry, just other fish to fry. If you come here, you get a stray fairy. These guys are important. Climb up, all we did is, you need one here, and later we'll have to collect a bunch more in various locations, but one is easy. It's a good hiding spot if you don't know the area very well. It will take you a little bit of time to figure out all the different places you've been, and it's difficult to find. We're gonna avoid that spot because there's a Deku scrub that comes down. We can't activate this yet because we need a sword. Sadly. If we come through here, there's a couple things to do here. First we can do is get... Actually, no, we can't do this. We have to do that first. We have to go to the Great Fairy because the Great Fairy will give us a magic meter. And we can use that to do our next bit of work. I love this game. Have I mentioned that? I forget. Have I said I love this game? If not, I'll say it again. I love this game. And in case I forget to mention it later, I love this game. There's a great fairy. She's in pieces. Gotta put the straight fairy. Straight fairies uh, unite, and they make one big, giant great fairy. Now, the cool thing about the great fairies in this game over Ocarina of Time is their hair is a different color. They There's like... I should know this. I think there's like five, maybe six of these things. I think five. Uh, one for each dungeon and this one. There are only four dungeons. A lot of heart pieces on the sides. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, but I grew careless. All I can offer you is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Yes, ma'am. How do you say no? In fact, you can't say no. If you're here actually to beat this game, you have to do this. Pretty sure this is mandatory. I'm sure there's like hacks or something that gets around this, but... We're not playing that way. We're, we're going to play the game legit. Go all the way through. Get everything. Clear the game. Clock the game, as my friend likes to say. You've been granted magic power in your current form. Press B to shoot bubble blasts. Oh, I can make bubbles. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases. When you shoot, replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Now, to see her again on another cycle, we would have to redo the fairy thing, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So, I mean, it's not, but it is. So, that might not happen. It just might not happen. Now, there is a mini game we can do here. And I think you get a heart piece if you do all three days of it. So we're going to do that here. Uh, this isn't the next thing to do, but it is a task to do, I guess. We're going to save here. I'm going to cheat and so you save state. I'm going to blatantly use save state. We're going to go through this as quickly as we can. We talk to this guy. He charges you. Ten rupees to play. You get to use the Deku flower here. You gotta beat a certain time, and I think as soon as we get out of this thing, our timer starts. So we're gonna do this. Uh, day one is the easiest one, I think, but we will see how I do. I'm gonna save after every every successful landing. I think that's a safe way to go. Okay, so that's one. I think we have five minutes to do this, which isn't that bad. Uh, we're just gonna island hop. These are all vertical. You can see the shadow, so it's not too bad. I almost fell. I thought that was gonna be the end of me. might not talk quite as much as I go through this as I have to concentrate on uh, what I'm doing. It's very, very challenging. <laughs> oh, okay. See? That's what I'm talking about. That's why. It's a little harder than it looks, and I don't know. I, I could make up a million excuses why I'm not good at this, but 
does not. See, I'm sideways now. I can't. Yeah, let's do a different thing. Let's go over here to the five one. The fiber. If you don't go high enough, you don't really get to drop on them, but you just get to land. I wonder if I can make this gap. I might have to stop at the island in the middle. These only let you go so far, and they don't really tell you how far you can go. And there we go. Okay, it's all over. Good. Good riddance. We have to do this all three days. 53, 47. Amazing. It's a new record. Take this. I hardly think it's a record. You get 50 rupees. That's just pretty good. I'll record this time. What's your name, young one? My name is Link. That's a strange name for a Deku scrub. If you can, come by again tomorrow. If you don't do this on the first day and you just do the second day, you do get rupees, which is nice, but it's, that's about it. Rupees are good. Um, after the day cycle resets, we don't get to save our rupees, but there is a way you can uh, literally bank them. There is a bank of sorts. This guy is trying to shoot this balloon. We're going to shoot this balloon down with our bubble blast. Home. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. Uh, you need a code to get in. Uh, he has a club that we have to get into. But don't think you're e getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yes. This is glorified hide and seek. If you can find all five lists by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? It's a little tricky. Um, I think I've failed this one out of five times I've tried this. Or something like that. It's not too bad. They're always hiding in the same spot, so it's not too bad. These guys move. It is possible to do that one eventually. The guy's over here, though. Uh, see, then you get close, and then they run, which is the tricky part. I don't know what just happened there with the, the, the grass. He runs all the way over there. We got one. Oh, you caught me there. Oh, there are four left. Now, finding all... F oh, is, I'm sorry. There are two up here. That's not the same one. That is the one I found before. And if you do that, he runs a little bit away like that. And it's a little tricky. You gotta chase him down. And it's really annoying when they get in the doors here because then you can't really get them. If you go in, then you go in the door like this and it's, just, it's harder to find them. You have to come back and just start over. Um, let's see, there is one. Is there one over here? I forget where they are. I think there are two here. Yep, I see where they are. East Clock Town. One of them is easily used by this method. Easily, easily done by using this method, I guess. He's up there. Now you chase him off the roof just so you can go and catch him. Got that. Now there are only two left. The good news is it's only one in the afternoon. It's not even dark yet, so I have until next sunrise. That's not one. He's guarding the clubhouse over here. That's where the, the entrance of the secret club is. We'll see that later. But we have to do this first. Got him. That was easy enough. And we got one more... One more over here. I need a map. I don't have a map. You have to buy the map. If you want the map, you gotta buy the map. There is a map we can get really soon. Um, actually, we can get it right now. I want to take a break from catching all the all the cool kids and do this. This is Tingle. This is the debut of Tingle. Tingle is one of the most annoying characters in the Zelda franchise, um, other than Navi and stuff like that. My name is Tingle. I, I think I'm the same as you, sir, a forest fairy. Alas, though I'm already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Clock Town. Only five rupees, very, very affordable. The cool thing about buying maps here, I'll show you in a second once I do this, hopefully I can buy another one. Uh, he says, Tingle, Tingle, Kululimpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. He's talking in the third person. Don't steal them. If you talk to him again, uh, you can't. Okay, that's what it's afraid of. You have to shoot him down again. Not a big deal. Simple enough. He's just the cartographer of the game. Uh, sir. Hello, Mr. Fairy. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? We're going to buy Woodfall. This is our next area. I don't think this is the most efficient way to buy it. Uh, most efficient, yes. Most, uh, cost efficient? No. 
Um, because I think if we get it later, it will be cheaper, but that's okay. Now, when you buy a map, which is really cool, it opens it up in your mini map here. The cool thing also is if you, uh, you can toggle it, oops, you can toggle it with L, but uh, it will show up in the corner now. We can do that. Um, so we're going to find our last, last boy. I know exactly where to find him. He's in this section of the map. If you look at the map, there are five, one, two, three, four, count them, five, uh, sections of Clock Town. Clock Town has five sections. Um... One big hub and then four little things off of it. Three of those connect and one of them's kind of a dead end. And our last boy is right here. And we got him. Aw, uh, no way, you finally got me. We get to warp to the North Clock Town. And they get to tell us the code. I think the code changes. Then I give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a bot member. We have to do this again as Link, as Human Link, to get this notebook. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. No, they don't want no scrubs. I guess not once we let some one kid in. Some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry, but I'll teach you the code. Just like I promised, I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Four, one, five, two, three. We get to put that into East Clock Town, where that boy was guarding the gate. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do in the meantime. I think not. I think not. I think this is... About where we're going now we want to do here that's right if you want to pass through here you have to say the secret code oops oops here we go uh we do four one five two and a three he sounds like, to me he sounds like theodore from alvin and the chipmunks what the hell? sounds cool Bomber Society. I wonder if Bomberman was a, a member, a founding member. That'd be funny. Oh, dude, you know Bomberman? That'd be cool. That's cool. You're awesome. Bomberman is our founding father. If you do this little move across, you hop across faster. And over here, you go this way to avoid that skull's love. That giant thing that's going to kill me. Here we have another balloon. Now, if you don't know how to get past this balloon, then hopefully... You've been paying attention enough. Now that the the bells simply mean that we're getting close to uh one, halfway through a day, so we are at our first day. Hopefully, I can pop. Nope, nope, I missed. Night of the first day, sixty hours remain. We've used twelve hours already. Every twelve hours, they do the that animation. It's kind of annoying, but it is kind of cool. It works at the same time. You can see our time going at the bottom there, going through the first day. We're now at night of the first day. Here's another scarecrow. He teaches us stuff later, but we have to come here as, an, as a human with a musical instrument. Wink, wink. I like this music a lot. It's a little simplistic, but it is gorgeous anyway. Now, you talk to this guy. And he says, well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new ma friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend. Mischievous, I'm sorry. Mischievous, not mischievous. Mischievous friend from the other day. Humph, humph, humph. That ill-mannered troublemaker, he's talking about the Skull Kid with the mask, from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stop. There's no, was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Of course. These are all things you have to do before the main scope of the game. This is still kind of tutorial, but they let you on your own, make you think you're making your own decisions. We can zoom on on him here. He looks up at the sky, sees the moon. The moon cries a single tear, which falls to earth like a meteorite. Like a meteor, and then becomes a meteorite. You go pick that up. Luckily, it's not too big. He spanks his butt and shakes his butt at you, as all normal people do. Well, did you, uh, perhaps another moon tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder, sorry. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only through the eye of the carnival. E, I'm sorry, the eve of the carnival. That doesn't, the eye of the carnival doesn't make any sense. We got the fairies tear here. This is an important item. We might get this more than once. I think we have to get this more than once. All that for a fairy's tear, or I'm sorry, for a moon tear. Why am I saying fairy's tear? Where's fairy's tear from? <sighs> Excuse me. 
Um, if you said bless you, say I, I say thank you. If you did not, then that's okay. These are cool. This is actually a clock for... Oops. Uh, Alright, so now we know where the Skull Kid is. Let's go ask around the clock tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Well, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. We're actually doing really good on time. We're going to have to wait around a while, so we'll try to fill time. Now here, this thing is kind of cool. This is I can't really get it to stay still, but that is a clock of Clock Town. Uh, clock Town. Uh, that is accurate. It follows up really close to whatever uh, you have on the screen there, although the one on the screen is much easier to read, so that's the way to go there. Um, but they do have those around. There's one there. There's one over in the inn. In the inn. Let's see if I can go into the inn here. Oh, they're closed. If it's locked, the easy way to get in is through here. This door is usually, I believe it's always unlocked, yeah. You can get in here after hours, that way. Um, and then you can come down here. This is all, the only reason I'm coming, I'm coming down here is because I want to show you that they have a clock. There's another clock. Sadly, we can't climb on the desk, but you can see the clock very well here. Uh, if you follow it along, you can see that the red dot that is coming to is going to hit the midnight as soon, or the, the 12 mark as soon as my clock does. So that red mark is the hour going around. So very, very good. I've seen someone make one of those in real life. I saw, I think it was on Pinterest or something. Someone showed, or Etsy or something. Someone showed that. Now you can talk to her, I believe. Uh, he'll, she'll read a story tomorrow. She helps you pass the time quicker. Uh, just because now we have nothing to do for like two whole days. Um, except that uh, mini game. This is kind of funny if you... Oh, maybe you can't do this. I wonder why. Usually there's someone there. Anju should be here. Anju's not here. There are bugs here. If you need to catch bugs, they're in the, in the kitchen. It's a very safe place. Oh, the other thing that's kind of funny about Clock Town, I remember, is that they have... Um, oh, there he is. Hello. Pa 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 paper, please. I don't have any paper. Um, Although, 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 I can go get some. We can actually do that. You're not supposed to use this for paper, but I guess it doesn't matter. There's many things. And items are... The cool thing about this game is it's very replayable, even as you're playing. Every time you reset the game, um, or every time you reset the, the clock, you can do all the stuff over again. Everything. Everything, everything. Now here, wait, hang on. This guy comes down. We gotta use his, um, his, fl his, his flower there to get up to where we need to get to. This is my private property. Don't try using it while I'm not around. So here, we give him this. And he says, all oh, the stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my very special, my spot here. Deku flower included. Yes. So now we got this thing. We use this for a later, for a different quest, but we don't need it now. And we can't use it now because we can't leave the town now to go use it elsewhere. So we can give this to the guy that needs paper in the bathroom. And I believe he gives us something in return. We have nothing else to do. We have nothing better to do. So we might as well do this. Okay, so now we can come in here, uh, let's see, can we, where can we get to? We can get to that place, which isn't very useful. We can get up here, which is where we need to get to eventually. And this is a heart piece. This door will open, um, on the eve of, the door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival, which is what we're waiting for. That is going to happen in two more days. Each new heart container, blah, 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 blah. We got another heart piece. We got heart piece. There's a couple more things we can do. I think there I'm going to be missing stuff. I'm not an expert on this game. I just know how to play, as I like to say. Um, so sadly. <clears throat> also, the mini games that are available in this thing, other than the Deku one that we're doing already, is are not available for Deku Link. You have to be human. But we can go give this guy his little little title deed, and he can wipe himself. I guess is what he needs to do. Whatever he needs to do. I don't I don't have a, I don't know his business. I don't know his business. Oh. But we can give him paper here. Here you go. Yay. Yay. Oh, you saved me. I don't think I've ever done this this early. And he gets something out of the toilet for us. If this fell down here, I'll give it to you. you. Need to wash it. You got a piece of heart. You've collected two pieces so far, collect two more to extend your life energy. Okay, so that's how you get two heart pieces in here. 
Um, I believe that we can get more. <clears throat> but I don't... I don't know how. I'll take a look around town while we're killing time anyway. <clears throat> Need some water. The other nice thing about having the mini-map is you can see all the white dots. As Child Link, you can get across there. It's really easy to get across there. He just jumps like a like an acrobat. We can kill, break these. Uh, we can't go in there. They're closed, number one. Number two, I don't think we can do anything there anyway. This is the sh shooting gallery. Again, we have to be human. This one is kind of a cool one. This is about, this is a maze. Actually, can we do this one? I think we can do that one. I think there are four different challenges depending on what creature you are in the game. And you could become other creatures besides human and Deku Scrub. So if you don't know this game, that is a spoiler. If you do know this game, then you already know that. It is almost daytime of the second day. We got another hour to kill. And then we can go do our mini games. Right here they play he's playing the Song of Storms. La la la, they said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad, sigh, now I'm sad. I'll just stay here all night and away from their pad. Are you a child? And you are a child, so you must go to bed. He says that now. If you fall, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'll even show you that right now. There is a frog there. He is useful for something much later. Um, not a big deal if you fall in the water. You just go back to where you came from. You don't even lose a heart. Not a big deal. We're gonna go do... Let's go to North Block Down. North Block Down. We'll do that one first. 48 days remain... Or 48 hours remaining. Can you imagine 48 days? Or you gotta play... You gotta play that often and then you just wait. Oh, the cool thing about this is also is because... The construction site up updates. So I believe we get something if we go there now. No, we have to do this on the third day. But as you can see, this is now taller than it was before. So that updates. Uh, <clears throat> I like how they have the construction workers. They use a lot of the same assets, and especially the character models from uh, Ocarina of Time, which is absolutely fine. The games are related, and what better way to relate the games than use the same tile sets? We're going to go and do day two of the minigame. Day two is always a rainy day. It does rain on day two. We're not going to be able to change the weather. That's beyond our control. So it's always going to rain. It's always going to thunder strike. I wonder if the thunder is calculated to be at the same time all the time. That'd be kind of cool to see. If it always does thunder at whatever, 7, 7.30 or whatever it just was. Time does not stand still, no matter where you are. If you're indoors, if you're outdoors, it still goes through. Even if you're in the middle of playing a mini game. I wonder how many people are playing mini games when the... Uh, when the clock goes down all the way. Okay, we can do this. Uh, it's all about timing on this one. We've got first one, no problem. We're gonna get down here and do another one. I think we're gonna work our way inside out. So we're gonna do the inside here. You better believe I'm cheating. Just in case. I don't necessarily need it. It would take me a few more tries, I guess, to do it without, but it is easier if I do cheat. Speaking of which, I don't like the way that worked out, so we're going to do this so I get a better angle, and I'll be able to hit that one easier. I missed. I got it. And I believe we have one more. This is going to be even faster than before. We're now waiting for that one, which is coming. We missed. Again, we're waiting. We got it. That's it. That's game. It's all over. We get more rupees. We get all the rupees I think we just collected. So 40, 29. Amazing. It's a new record. Take this. So we got even faster than our old time, which is cool. That's not required, I think. I think you still only have to do one minute. I think it tells you the time on it, so not a big deal. Oh, uh, we have 99 rupees right now. That's a lot. And we're maxed out. So... We can get rid of them. We wasted, what, 55 plus 50 is 105. And we wasted 6 rupees. Not too bad. There is a way to deposit. We can. I'm going to go deposit about 50 of them, I think. I think that's safe. Um, and I'll show you the banking system of this game. 
unlike Ocarina of Time, you cannot bank, or it, which where you can't bank, you can bank in here. Um, I don't think there's a limit to how many rupees you can store here, so you can have so many rupees, which is good. Rupees are a good thing. Let's give this guy some rupees. Again, oh, these cows are everywhere. That's what I want to show you. These cows are... There was one in the uh, hotel... In the, yeah, in the, in the inn. Nothing. So, for a little bit of time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, I'll give you an item that holds a lot of rupees. Deposit rupees. All right. So, oops. I'll save state here just in case. We're going to deposit 50. So what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special Link. Hey, relax. This doesn't leave any marks, and it's not going to hurt. There, now, I, now I'll know you when I see you. The cool thing about this, all right, little guy, and now I've got a total of 50 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. He remembers even past the day, because he always checks my hand. He always checks my hand. Um, it's on the back, and he updates my hand, so... Yeah, very easy. I... Uh, that's how they get around the, uh... The continuity errors. Um, oh, I know where I want to go. I'm not going the right way at all. I'm not going the right way at all. Here's Anju, she's going out on her, on her morning constitution, or I guess after, afternoon constitution. Can I talk to her? Nope. Oh, but uh, she just made me go into the, uh, the other area in the south block down. Going back. Okay. I believe we should be able to do this now. Yeah. Go ahead and save. And here we have... The bomb shoe bowling lady. Oh, what a cute little customer. So what do you want to, or do you want to play? Uh, 10 rupees. If you can make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Are you ready? Now, we have that over there. Uh, with save state, this will be a cinch. This is very simple. If you look at the maze area, it's like this. But then as soon as you start walking, these jump up and stop you from progressing. So you gotta kinda figure out as you're going, you gotta feel your way through, literally feel your way through. We're gonna hold, hug a right wall just for for kicks, just for good measure, and then we will find our way through eventually that way. We're hugging right walls, hugging right walls, hugging right walls. I don't know the way, if I can get there before the timer runs out, I will be amazed. Hugging right walls, the only way right now is going all the way down this way. If this runs into a dead end, then we might be in trouble. Oh, so close. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. There's the answer. There's the answer. There's the answer. Will I make it? And I did. I wasn't sure I would do it. I got Deku Nuts. I didn't want that. That was a waste of 10 rupees. Did you have fun? Uh, do you want to try again? Will you give me something other than Deku Nuts? We're going to save anyway. Because why not? The path is always different, so I'm gonna try going over this way for now. I've seen one where it was like a straight shot through. It was really cool. Like you just come, but as long as you know to come down on the side, it was like just straight all the way through. And I can imagine there's only a certain number of combinations for for this thing. That was actually really simple. I'm pretty sure all I'm gonna get are dicky nuts, and they are not worth my ten rupees. I just spent twenty rupees on Deku nuts that I don't think I could even hold. Um, no thank you. Okay, well that was a waste, although it was fun. Okay, so I could have held 10 of them. Uh, I started with 10. But that was useless. useless. I heard the sound of the clock in there, so there's gotta be a clock in there too. Um, there are very few things I can do right now. I think we can go and talk to the old lady. She'll tell us a story that will help us pass the time until tomorrow. Or at least until night time. We got this person. I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. There's another one of those cows. They shake their heads during the uh, tremors near the end of the three-day cycle. Oh, a tortoise! Did you finish helping your father? Then let mother read you a story. 
Uh, we're gonna go until morning. The Four Giants is it. This is quite long, so but it is a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. <laughs> the, uh, the Four Giants. The tale. This tale's from long ago, when all the people were separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the Four Giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giant spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while, you, while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as, The mountain blizzard has trapped us. Or, The ocean is about to swallow us. Your cry shall carry to us. Those are the four giants that you wake at the end of the game. Oh, are you awake? I guess that story was a little hard for Tortoise. But don't give up. Try again later. Did we not go until the... Oh, it is morning. Okay, it is morning of the final day. I said the uh, the clock is easy to read, and yet I can't read it. Okay, so... I'm wondering... This is this is not going to be worth it, but I'm wondering if the price is different here. Let me see if the price has changed. Again, we're going to save just to make this really simple. I'm gonna go down on the left side here. No. Nope. We're gonna hug the left wall this time. Okay. To get through any maze, all you have to do is hug a wall. You'll get through it eventually, and your time might not be great, but at least you'll get through it. We're hugging walls. Hugging walls. Uh oh. Uh oh. It looks like this was not the right way to go. Oh man. Oh man. My three for three. Hug the walls, guys. It'll help. Deku nuts. Egg on my face. Deku nut on my face. That's that's boring. <laughs> Did you have fun? No. And no thank you. And we never come in here as Deku Blink again. Now, if you come in here as other characters, then the prizes are different. I'm, I'm sure she doesn't just give Deku's nuts to every every time you win. That would be horrendous. This guy's cool. I like him a lot. I'm gonna go to North Clock Town. We're gonna get uh, our thing here, and we're gonna get, I think, a third uh, heart piece. Just like that, a third heart piece. Gonna dive down, dive down deep. And spring out and fall in the hole again. Now I do have 10 rupees, I hope that is enough. If they charge me 20 today, I will be sad. You can talk to either one, I think. Pay for 10 play for 10 rupees. Again, we can save state, so it won't really matter. This if the time it takes you get all okay. But if you fall down, blah blah blah. Time is what do you say, 106? <clears throat> We got plenty of time. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Water time. Okay. See if I can catch this correctly. Awesome. Now this is kind of cool because it is a combination of uh, level 1 and level uh, 2. Some move around in a circle, some move up and down. We're gonna go for this one over here. We got two more rupees to collect, we have half our time. Is that the one I wanted? That was the one I wanted. I should just go for that one. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go for this one and then we'll come back. Easy enough. And we got 20 seconds to get that one. I'm gonna give it a save. And I think we can fly right to it. Oops, I didn't hold A. We're gonna fly right to it. Just like that. And there we go. Okay, it's all over. 
One false move and you fall in. It sucks. 5160, amazing. A new record and for three days straight. Wow, we've been had. Well, you're obviously a pro and pros can't play here. Take this and don't come back. I wonder if I can play again. I want more rupees. You got a heart piece? Please, you've collected three heart pieces so far. Collect one more to extend your life energy. Such a youthful face, but we were really dealing with a fierce competitor. Can I really... Ah, it's Link Hyde. They really don't want me to be in here. Yep, they won't even talk to me. Wow. Oh, well. No free rupees. There is one more thing we can do with the construction site. The construction site, I believe, has something interesting for even Deku Link. Or maybe you need... Maybe you need to be Deku Link and then you have to turn into a adult, a human Link. Not human. I'm sorry, not adult, human. I believe if you look at the music of this, uh, the dogs attack you if you're a Deku scrub. I believe if you look, yeah, you can come all the way up here and you get a treasure chest full of something. How did I, what, why? Let me up. If you're, if you're Link, you can, if you're human Link, you can get up there. Okay, we're gonna try a different tactic. We're gonna go backwards. How do you get up there? This is what we're doing for the next two hours. Besides avoiding dogs. Okay, you have to climb. I don't want to talk to you, I want to open the chest. And then you have this hard, difficult part. You get 50 rupees. Now the cool thing about the rupee boxes is you can open them every single cycle. And there there are rupees over yonder where I tried to get to up there, but I can't get to them as Deku Scrub Link, I believe. We're all at night of the final day. We got 12 hours remaining. Uh, now we gotta wait until there are six hours remaining and then we will be able to go into the thing. That's my alarm. Um, and we are going to go in here. We're gonna deposit our rupees. I wanna take a look at the shop. I don't think we can get anything in the shop, but I wanna see what we can get in the shop. Curiosity shop opens at 10 p.m. I'm hoping some of these are still open. This is a good shop. So there is a, a shield. I think that shield is different from the one that I have. Uh, we can get Deku sticks. Maybe he doesn't sell to us. Hey, you're just a Deku scrub kid. He won't sell to us. Okay. There is a scarecrow here. Yo, hey. I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. I forgot we could dance with him. I knew there was one other place. If you dance with me until dawn. Uh, I don't, we can't do that yet because if we do that, then time will be over. Oh, shoot. Can I, I don't think I can learn that. Let me see if I can learn it. There, you'll, he teaches you a song that'll slow down time. But I think I need the ocarina first. If you play that strange song backwards, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play, okay, this is actually good. So he teaches you now, even though we don't have the ocarina, that's okay. I need to take a pill for that alarm. I have a little bit of a, a stomach issue. Okay, here we go. Oh, deposit rubies. Rupees. Um, yeah. <laughs> got distracted with meds. Okay. What's this? You need something on day like this? You haven't evacuated yet? You're amazing, little guy. Deposit rupees. Excuse me. Let me take a look at you. 69 rupees, please. I wonder... I mean, it is possible, but I wonder... If we can get... Uh, 200 rupees to him. If we do that, then we can... We only need... Eh, we can go farm rupees for a few hours. If you do that, then you can... Um, get the, uh, the, what, the adult wallet, the, the big wallet, the bigger wallet, it holds 200 rupees instead of only 99, 99 is such a drag, and then there's a way to get even more rupees, there's a heart piece up there, 
we can get that one later. So we can actually leave, we can, and each of these give you a rupee. Um, we can actually six, easily uh, get four hearts before we even leave Clockdown. Well, unless you count the observatory. If you count the observatory or even the Lost Woods, then technically, yes, we've left Clocktown already. But I don't count that. <laughs> you can count it. I'm not going to count it. Each of these give you a, a rupee each time you cut them, so these are pretty good. So we're up to 15 already. I think we just got 6 and then 9, so that was a good thing. Uh, I'm not sure how many we need, but we can keep doing this until it's time to go. And that guy will stay even as the world ends. After three days, that moon that was what we saw that we cried the, the moon tear uh, comes crashing into Termina, into the, the area here. In fact, right on top of Clockdown, I believe. And it destroys the world as you know it. It's the end of the world as you know it, and we feel fine. I got only seven that time. That's okay. We got. I wonder. I'll write these down. I'll write these down. Oh, I need a different scratch paper. Wasting time trying to find paper. Okay. So is that six, nine, and seven? Oops. Oh well. Okay. We got six. We got nine. We got seven. That was a total of fifteen. That was a total of twenty-two. We only got five that time. Yeah, that was a waste. Wasteful, wasteful, wasteful. But we only have to get. How many do we deposit? Like. 111. So we only have to get a. If we get 99 here, then we can just deposit that and we're good to go. I think that was pretty good. I went around in a circle. We gotta do Matthew's time. Oh, there, there's the final thing. So we can go do that now. I want to kind of do the uh, the wallet thing first, and I think we have enough time. I think we have plenty of time. Here are the beautiful fireworks. If you're in Clock Town, you get to see the fireworks. Clock Town goes up. That door opens. That door is everything. So six plus nine is fifteen. Plus seven is a is twenty two. Plus five is twenty seven. How many did we get this time? We got 36, so we got 9 more. We got exactly 6 hours left. If you look at our clock now, it is uh, running down the, the timer quickly. Um, I wonder how many times we can do this before it's time to go. I think about the 3 hour mark, I'm going to have to really book it to get done with this. Plus 9. I got 9 again. I wonder how many there are. Maybe there's only nine. We got nine more. This is 36. This is 45. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think there are nine. So if you do all nine, then in your stud. Good. I got eight there. I missed one. If we do 50, that's not quite enough. You need to get closer to at least 80. I'm really pushing it, though. If only we didn't play and get Deku nuts. Especially there. That's 60. 61. Hmm. I'm going to save here just in case. We should be fine on time, but I'm going to save there just in case. I think if we do this three more times, then we're going to be golden. Sixty-nine. I don't like pushing the the envelope here, but you know why not? Yolo, right? I feel like I'm going to be like one off if I go anytime soon. Let's see, we deposited 50, right? And then we deposited, what, 60 or something? So I do need 90. I think we can do this one more time and then do the other part. I think we're good. Or do this two more times. I think we're going to be good. But I'm not going to save anymore. Just in case. I'm super scared. I don't actually know what happens if you don't do this all in time. Okay. 
Okay, one more time to do it. Man. <laughs> I've never put, pushed it this close. What do you think? Can I make it? Cast your bets now. Ninety-two, ninety-three. All right, let's go see if I have enough money. I might be one off. That'd be sad. Um, I can go there. Wait. I need my. No, I need to go over here. Okay. Can't get lost now. If I get lost and wander, then I will be even way further behind. Fifty-eight minutes, guys. I gotta go talk to this guy, deposit my rupees, and then book it to the uh, clock town in central area. This guy has no, nothing else to do, except this. I think he said 109 rupees. I hope so. 90 and 1, 2, 3. 212 rupees, there we go. Uh, you got that much. Hey, little guy, here's your special gift, take it. Sweet, I got the adult wallet, it's adult for adults, so it holds a lot of rupees, now you can carry up to 200 of them, cool. So now, hopefully, um, this is not good. <laughs> oh, this is not good, I'm not gonna make it. I am not going to make this. I mean, I think I don't just have to be there. I think I have to be, like, inside and do other stuff and complete something before the time is up. Don't stop now. That's where I need to be. I don't know if I need to be there before. This looks promising, though. I don't know. I think either I just made that or I'm dead and I have to start all over. That's why we save state. I think time might be done here just because it would suck if you just lose here. Ah, uh, Tail, we've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask that you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Tattle, Tattle and Tail are mischievous, but they're, they're good people. Swamp, Mountain, Ocean, Canyon, hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're my our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If that's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Yeah, um, I, the clock might start again here, though. If the clock starts again here, we are SOL. But I'm always, I've always wondered what happens if you don't make it in time. And the clock is going to start again, huh? We got, like, literally five seconds to... Oh, no, we get five whole minutes. We have to shoot him with that. That's easy enough. He drops the ocarina. Sweet, we are golden. We are golden. You go over here, you pick up the ocarina. Da-da-da-da, it. You got the ocarina of time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. To set it to C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. This is cool. I've never gotten the adult wallet this soon. Nor have I gotten all those three heart pieces. Oh, you are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? See, this is... I swear this is like a year. I wonder if someone's actually got a source of this and where it says how long this is. Even though I f it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. And we get our first song with the instrument. This is also how we get the song in the uh, Ocarina of Time. As soon as you get this, you pick it up and boom, you know the song. We have to play the song to make sure we know how to play it. And then we get the Ocarina of Time. Which is the whole point of both of these games. If you don't have the Ocarina in either game, you will not win. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of, of memories of Princess Zelda. We ride away on horseback into the sunset. All oh, beautiful. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you.
Snap out of it. What are you doing, Lost in Memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't gonna help us, you wanna bet? Somebody, anybody, goddess of time, help us. Please, we need more time. So then we put it to C. And we play the song. Huh? When did you get that instrument? And it turns into this. This is just hilarious. This is very funny. And time stops here. Time actually stops while you play. Which is very useful. Very friendly. Dire Straits, the world is on the line, but you get all the, the, the time that you need. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Yes. This is how you save the game. There's no other way to save the game except for save state. And... That's it. All our stuff goes away, which is our Deku Nuts, our Deku Nuts that we saved or that we tried so hard to get. All the rupees that you would save go away, all your arrows, all your other resources and items go away. Uh, we keep the major items, like we keep the fact that we know Deku Nuts, we keep the fact that we have an Ocarina of Time. We reset time, we go back to relive this moment again. Now the cool thing is we don't have to do this, it starts us off at clock down, just after we talk to this guy. Right as soon as we open the door, when it said the dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain, this is where we are sent back to. And the nice thing is we don't have to watch that cine uh, cinematography, that, that clip every single time, uh, just here. What just happened? Everything has. This is only the first time that this happens. It's not a big deal. Start it over. And this is where we're going to end today. What are you now anyway? What are you, what are you now anyway? The song you played, that instrument? Oh, what are you now anyway? What are you? That instrument. Yeah, dude. Wait, that's it, your instrument. The one that you said it wasn't gonna do anything? Yeah, that's what did something. The mask salesman said that if you got that back that precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? So now we go in there and talk to him, but we will do that tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.